Hello there, members of the vinyl community. Tony P. La Casa del Perla. La Hacienda. The Ponda Rosa. The Ponda Grina. The Ponda Pretty Dry Up because it has to rain for a couple days. But uh, coming to you for, with some uh, VCLT. Some, some fines. And just commentary. I don't have anything else. I'm not too... To a stew tonight at a baseball game. I'm a little tired, but I wanted to put something in. Uh, I got a package in the mail. I know what it was. Randall Randall Weaver reached out to me uh, on Facebook Messenger, and he sent me a package. He told me what was in it. Uh, Randall's from from Nashville. And I love, I love the address he put on it. He said, Tony P. in care of Casa de Perla. And he has my address on the mark. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, and he, he did something he didn't have to do. Uh, I commented on one of his videos about the, the 13th floor elevators. And I never, I never really had them in my collection. And he was fortunate to get a, a second uh, version of, of that particular album uh and he said would i like it and i i i was humbled that he would think of me you know uh i'm always humbled when somebody says would uh tony p would you care to have a an album you know that means you know they're going out of their way for you and i'm very very humbled and thankful for randall i, I watch his channel it's a very good channel he has such great taste in music he's well versed in music uh, I'm nowhere near his caliber in, in, in channel wise or knowledge wise. And he sought fit to bestow this album on me. So I, I did, I did score it. Okay. I did open it up and he has a little card. He has a little card in there. Let me, let me open that up and see if I can read it to you. A oh, nice, nice card. I can dig it. He said, Oh, what a, what, a, what a nice man. What a nice man. Hey, Tony, I hope you enjoy this record as much as I do. Have fun listening, Randy. How nice is that? Huh? How nice is that? Beautiful card. I'll keep that forever. I'll keep it with the with that album. Uh, I don't I don't re send out uh, any VCLT anybody's ever sent. I've kept the very first VCLT I've ever had. And he packaged it wonderfully. Got the little bubble wrap on it. Even sent the plastic sleeve with it. Beautiful. It's a beautiful shape. Look at that. It's the mono press. How about that? What a, what a wonderful guy. Never didn't have to do this. Didn't have to do this. And he said he won't send it to me unless I promise not to send him anything back and pay it forward. So, you know, geez. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. 13 floor elevator, sun dazed. I'm so honored that you felt that I was worthy enough to get this. 13th floor elevators. I'll put it on tonight. Randall Weaver, thank you so, so much. And we will pass that on. Uh, as you said, thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. As a matter of fact, thank you all who, who watch and comment on my videos. Uh, I know that I'm not the most thrilling or the most knowledgeable but I thank you for sticking around as much as you do. I thank you for the comments that you give. I thank you for every time that you, you laugh or you, you look at one of my videos and put a little comment in there. Uh, it makes me want to do them all the time. So thank you. Uh, I also got some, some thrift store finds, not thrift store, I'm sorry, flea markets. There's a flea market probably about 40, 45 minutes away from me that has a, a, a young lady who sells albums. Just all albums, records, CDs, all for a dollar. Anything in her booth is a dollar. She doesn't mince words about stuff. She says a dollar. So when I was there, I found a few things. I found, this was sealed, but I already listened to this. This is a Dean Martin, all-time greatest hits. This is a fantastic CD. Fantastic CD. Um, my, the Queen is not a Dean Martin kind of guy. Lady, I shouldn't say guy. Lady. And, uh, you know, he has the greats under that, Samore, Sway, You Belong to Me, 
Memories are made of this return to me. Chris Isaac did a real nice rendition of that. If you had it, he ch I changed the lyrics a little bit, but it's beautiful too. D. Martin's Greatest Hits. But this was almost kind of a grail. Uh, again, a dollar. I had I hunted for this vinyl uh, in the wild. I know I could order off this Cogs and other things, but I still want to see if I can get this in the wild. This is uh, Dave, Brub Dave Brubeck, uh, the Dave Brubeck Quartet. Uh, time Out, Take Five. Uh, is the is is a wonderful song on here? Uh, a DJ had this. This was number thirty three in his book. Uh, plays wonderfully, but it's kind of nice. A dollar. Some albums now. The flea market. The, the albums the young lady had. The covers aren't the greatest, and you really have to look at the vinyl if you want to take a chance. But everything is a dollar, so I'll keep that in mind. I'm going to drive forty five minutes. I'm going to bring something home. As a matter of fact, I brought two things home that are worth something to me. First one, this is uh, Slim Gillard, uh, trio, uh, jazz. I don't know anything about him. Maybe you do. The tall and the slim, how high the moon, I don't stand a ghost of a chance with you. Those are good. Slim C, my blue heaven, my blue heaven. Take the A train. Oh, lady, be good. Rooster Rock, walking and cooking blues. And I ends up with I Love You. But uh, if anybody knows anything about Slim Gillard, uh, that's on the uh, MCA records, if you can see that. The record's in pristine shape. So, you know, talk as you will. Next one, now, I collect this guy. And it's hard to find some good quality albums. This is Earl Garner. Earl Garner, jazz pianist from uh, Pittsburgh, Western Pennsylvania. Uh, I Again, I don't know anything about this. He plays not only the piano, but the harpsichord on this. Uh, okay. Um, as you can see, it says dollar, dollar on there. Uh, I love Paris. French doll, don't look for me. Louise, farewell to Paris. Left the bank swing and Côte d'Azur. I guess it's blue coat. Côte d'Azur. Okay, so hey, but again, the album, the album, eh, you know, it needs a good dusting, you know, it needs a good, a good dusting with some mineral spirits. No, I'm only kidding, mineral spirits. Now, I have this copy, and, and lately I've been on a Rita Coolidge kick, but I have this, and it does not play well. This, this uh, album is in a lot better shape than the one I have. Uh, this is on A&M Records. It's called Chris and Rita, Full Moon. Of course, Krita, yeah, Krita. Rita and Krita, Rita and Chris Christofferson. Beautiful gatefold. They were once an item. I believe they have a child together. But the, love the harmonies. I love his voice, love her voice. What a matchup, what a matchup. Chris Christofferson and Rita Coolidge. Now, this one doesn't have an album cover. But you notice it says, the guess who, all this for a song. Okay, so I don't know what the album cover, but it's it's Sus Russo owned it. So, Sus, if, if you're out there, I got it now. Uh, the album's in, in decent shape, but it's dirty as all get out. The guess who, all this for a song. It's on Hill Take Records. So, I don't know anything about it. I'm sure it's a reissue of sorts. Or a, a bootleg, maybe. I don't know. We'll find out. Next one. This is Bobby Vinton. Now, you might not like Bobby Vinton, but I think Bobby Vinton's from Cannonsburg, Pennsylvania. Am I right, Cannonsburg? Am, or am I wrong? Well, I, I'm going to guess. I'm going to say yes. This is a double album. This is his greatest hits. Uh, you know, Roses Are Red was... Roses are red, my love. While it's over, Mr. Lonely. Hi, Mr. Lonely. Um, my the queen's sister, her husband was in Vietnam, and she used to lament to that song. Uh, he 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 made it back all right, although he's not doing really well. He's not feeling good. Please love me forever. Oh, what a good crooner! The days of sand and shovels, my elusive dreams. No arms ever told you. I'll make you up to you every day of my life. There I said it again. 
that's a great album. The albums, the, the albums themselves are in pretty good shape. Not not 100%, but about 90, 90. So Bobby Vinton, I like him. You know, I'm an old guy. I like Bobby Vinton. Um, let's see what this one is. This is Rita Coolidge, Love Me Again. I told you I was on a Rita Coolidge kick. This is a beautiful gay fold. Oh. Look at that picture. She has you, slow dancers, sweet inspiration, love me again. It just keeps you dancing. Bye bye, love. That jealous, the jealous kind. Hello, love. Goodbye. You're too fine. You're so fine. And Songbird. Uh, this is a this is a Canadian press, I think. But it's beautiful. Again, the uh, the album, the album is really really nice shape. A lot of gloss to that one. I hope it plays well. You know, he he pays your money, you takes your chance. You know what I'm saying? Now, there's going to be one in here that the cover is pretty damn beat. I mean, beat is a, is being nice to it. Okay? And, and, and you know, a dollar. Sometimes you just got to gotta, gotta take a chance. Don't you ever just, you know, get a dollar. Come on. And there she is. Sweet Judy Blue Eyes. Huh? Judy Collins. Huh? Look at that picture. Huh? What a beauty. Did you ever hear those guys think about Sweet Judy Blue Eyes? Yep, that's who they were talking about. The moonlight is the mistress. I think this one has bring in the clowns, no? Yes, no? Tout sweet? N'est-ce pas? I don't know what I'm saying. Maybe, it, yeah. Yep, bring in the clowns. Send send in the clowns. Stop bring in. Send them. Say, hey, go in. Okay, so we'll, we'll clean that up. Give it a shot. Old Judy Collins. Judith. Another another album. Hey, fuck. You got to take a chance. Now, I've been thinking about this guy all along. Andrew Gold. Now, this is called What's Wrong With This Picture? I don't know. What's wrong with the picture? Can you figure it out? That's Andrew Gold. Andrew Gold and Linda Ronstadt were collaborators on a lot of music. He played on a bunch of hers. And I think she played on a bunch of his. I don't know if she was on this one. It doesn't say. And this, well, I haven't looked at the sleeve real close. But I will play it, clean it, and let you know. It may or may not. But I uh, hope you feel... You know, I don't know too many of his. Andrew Gold. But I mean, but a dollar. You know what I mean? Sometimes you just... You just got to go. Got to pay a buck. Got a buck. Okay? Last one. Now, here it is. Now, you tell me for a dollar. And you know the guy whose album is. It's not a Beatles. It's not a Rolling Stones. But I'm a fan of this guy. And the cover is... I don't know if I want to show you that cover. But I turn it this way. And I don't know if I want to show you that cover. But it is... It is gnarly. And I don't know what else to tell you about it, but it's it's chewed, glued, and screwed. No, I won't go there with that one. But I, I think, I don't know how to open this. I did look at the, uh, this is the, this is the inner, that's the outer sleeve. This is the inner sleeve. That's Al Cooper, by the way. And that's why, it, what prompted me. Al Cooper, I don't know who the other person is. I don't know anything at all about this album. All I know is Al Cooper has all kind of chewable damage. The record, it looks to be just pretty damn dirty. Okay, I don't. I did not clean these yet. You know, I not clean. The, the albums are not bad. I'm, you know, I'm going to clean them to the best of my ability. There's no mold on them. But uh, Alice Cooper was on this. Bernie uh, Toppin, Shep. Oh, I can't read it. Gordon, B. Edmonds, Stan Pauly, Garnett Mums, and the Enchanters do not appear on this album. Ah! Uh, did you get it? It says right here. Do not appear on this album. I was fooled. I was fooled. But that is, I, I will clean it up, and I, there's a hole through it, so I'm, I'm sure it's, this was unspecial. 
Al Cooper, nothing's wrong. There's nothing wrong, I guess. That's all I can see from chewing it. Hey, that's it. 15 minutes. Randall, thank you so much. I'll leave a, a link to his channel below. But please go subscribe to him. Wonderful guy. Thank you so much. Uh, I, I, From the bottom of my heart, I thank you all for sticking around and listening to this old fat man with a bald head and no beard anymore uh, talk. God bless you. May the force be with you. May all your records be flat. May your stylus run true. God bless you. Peace. Now, in my haste to end the first part, because I was going to 15 minutes, I usually try to keep them around 10. I forgot to tell you what the second thing I got at that flea market. Now, the records, like I said, there was 20 records, maybe more, somewhere around there, maybe 20, maybe 15. And the booth right next to the young lady where she was sitting, the guy had some stereo equipment. And you know me, stereo equipment. So he had an eight-track player for a home stereo. And I said, how much do you want for the home, for the eight-track? He said, $20. I said, all I have is a 20 on me, and I'm, I want to buy these albums. And the lady looked at me and said, do you have a charge card? I said, well, of course I have a charge card, but I still don't want to you know, spend that much. She said, how about if I make you a deal? How about I only charge you, how does she do it? Six dollars for all the albums, and you, you give him the 20. So the total would be 2636 because he has to charge tax. We'll charge the 636, and then I'll give him the 20, and you take those 13 albums home for 50 cents a piece. So in my lap, now, I don't know if this is good, bad, or different. I asked him if it plays. He said, of course it plays. He was a little insulted I said that. He said, not only does it play in stereo, it plays in quadraphonic. There's a little switch back here, stereo or quad. And it's in pretty good shape. Needs a good cleanup. But it is a solid state 8-track, and I don't know who it's by. And that wasn't uh, APF Electronics from New York. Hey, I don't care. He says it works very well. We'll find out when I hook it up if I ever if I ever find enough time. But I want to show you that and deal with everything. I sort of forgot. So okay, Tony P signing off again two times. You got me for the second time, and I and I don't even do this fast. Okay, I see you. God bless you. May the force be with you. Nanu nanu. May your records be flat. May your stylus run true. God bless you and you and you and you. Bye bye.